We're going to show you how to install this version of AirGap. You'll note that with this style, it's actually made up of three pieces. Our main body, and then we've got our two uh, mosquito cartridges, which go on either side. So the first step that we need to do is to actually glue these in place. You'll find that on either side of here and on the body, there's actually a small stripe or a small line there. The idea is once you prime and glue this, you line those up. You find also on the bottom edge, uh, all you do is have to line up the, that stripe on the base of the body and the stripe on the mozzie stopper here. And then all we're going to do, once they're primed and glued, we're going to glue those into place. Now you might, wanna, might find it easier when you're gluing it to take these cartridges out first, uh, but you can certainly leave them in if it's easier. So now that our main body is pre-assembled, we're going to fit it onto our pipe. So again, like with the other air gap, we want to uh, position this about 300 mil, uh, 300 millimetres or one foot down from the bottom of the overflow pipe. And we're just going to make sure it goes on a nice vertical section of pipe. So the first thing, I'm going to select my height here, and then all I'm going to do is mark out the position, and then I'm going to come in and cut it, and I'll come back and glue these into place. So now that we've cut our pipe, we're going to install the air gap. So we've pre-assembled this unit. All we're going to do is prime and glue both sockets of the air gap. We're going to prime and glue the pipe as well. And the important thing is that it goes in the correct way. You note that on the bottom side, there's this rim which runs around. So just make sure that we, when we install it, that rim is on the, on the bottom of the product. So it'll be sitting this way up. Now you'll note that when you put the air gap on, you can rotate it if you need to. Uh, most of the time it will be easier just facing out. So you just want to push it in. You'll want to hold it into position just while the glue sets. And then on the bottom socket, <clears throat> again, you'll want to prime and glue the socket, prime and glue the pipe, and then just finish your overflow pipe like that. Now you'll note again that <clears throat> with that bottom pipe, I actually had a loose pipe, but if you're cutting into an existing overflow pipe, you'll just have to cut out the appropriate amount. So I'll just mark out on the inside of the sockets the length that you'll need to cut out. And then you'll, <clears throat> you might need to allow just a little bit of extra space, just so you've got a bit of wiggle room in that bottom pipe, just like you would any other PVC uh, fixture in a pipe. So that's all there is to install your egg up. Thanks for watching.